Hey everyone, so in this video we are shopping at Walmart and we're going to look at the movie section and take a look at the DVDs and Blu-rays and everything that they've got. So I don't usually make movies like this, I don't usually like to film in stores or anything. However, uh, on the day that I did this there was a snowstorm at this uh, location I was at in New Hampshire and so uh, it was pretty much abandoned so no one was around so I thought I'd shoot a video so um, you know, I'm just going to show you a lot of the movies that they have. This was filmed on December 12th of 2017. And here we're just looking at the kind of like extra section, if if you want to call it that. I guess it's not the main movie section. It's like that one extra aisle. They had a cat dog uh, complete series just kind of sitting there out of place. Um, but here is uh, taking a look at the end cap. Kind of just some random titles right there. But here is the main selection of Christmas movies that they have here for 2017 mostly DVDs here uh, I think the blu-rays are yeah there's some blu-rays down here towards the bottom just a few but they mostly just have uh, DVDs here it's all pretty much the usual stuff that they get every single year the Grinch and the Rudolph and Frosty kind of stuff so uh, here's some multi-pack DVD sets and over here we have some uh, season sets of TV shows and uh, these are like a lot of complete series up here of random things and more multi-packs um, so moving on here we just have some more I don't know kind of random stuff um, they got ET there I picked that one up a while ago um, here are some kids titles a few kids multi-packs and things like that and a few older titles I got the Rugrats decade and diapers there I love that one uh, Sponge, Spongebob Christmas down in the bottom, that's a that's always a good release. Uh, some season sets, and they've got this holiday packaging on a lot of them, and you can see how horrible it is on some of them. This Peanuts Holiday Collection has perfect present right on the slipcover. Now, why would you ever want to have that in your collection? You know, if it's just like a slap-on thing on the front, that's fine, but when they put it right on the slipcover, that's kind of gross, because, I don't know, I don't know who would want to have that, but... Anyways, some more season sets, complete series uh, types of things. They have a lot of complete series sets of shows at Walmart. I, I don't know, maybe they'll sell really well. I don't know, but they always have them for a pretty cheap price too. So here's some more of that. A lot of complete series like the Twin Peaks here I've kind of been, I've had my eye on, but I think they have this on Blu-ray. So I've just, I haven't, I haven't picked that one up. Under the Dome, I'm not sure what that is, but it looks kind of interesting. Um... Then they, they have some special slip covers, this binge worthy TV thing. They're just kind of special Walmart slip covers, but you take those off, and I think it's pretty much the same uh, as it would be, you know, as if you were going to get it without the slip cover with the Walmart thing. So, uh, anyways, more of the same stuff, more of the complete series stuff. Trailer Park Boys seasons one through nine. I, I bought that a few weeks ago. Really nice box set there. Uh, more, comp you know, season sets over here, I guess. Um, getting into, well, no, nope, here's some more random sort of stuff. Um, and some of you watching this might be like, what are you talking about? That stuff's not random. These are different categories. But these are the kind of films that I don't really buy. Here's more of my kind of stuff, Nickelodeon stuff. They got the Rugrats and the SpongeBob down at the bottom. And then some uh, more little kids stuff up on top. Um, I'm really into a lot of that nostalgic cartoon stuff, you know, stuff that I watched when I was little. I just really like to collect that stuff. So up here, we've got The Grinch and Home Alone. But um, over here, some classic cartoons, the Hanna-Barbera Diamond Collection stuff that they've been reissuing. Unfortunately, a lot of those have omitted their bonus features from their original releases, but they are slimmer packaging, I guess. So that's sort of good. Um for those who like that kind of thing. But going to this other section over here, uh, kind of new releases sort of stuff over here. Nothing like super interesting, but they do have a few Christmas titles up here that kind of caught my eye, like Santa Stole Our Dog. I've never heard of this one. It looked, I don't know, like it might be kind of interesting. So I just wanted to take a look and see what it might be all about. Um, didn't pick it up though, just because I have no idea what it's about. and. 10 bucks is a little high for that kind of blind buy for me. If it was a Blu-ray, maybe I would have, but nah, let that one be. Uh, some more releases over here. I don't think a lot of those are like super new releases. 
Um, they got a few missing sections there that they need to fill up with some movies, it looks like. Um, just some more random stuff, at least for me anyways. Nothing that I really cared about there. Uh, here we're getting into some of the newest new releases, I think. Um, not 100% sure on that, though. Uh, but here is one that caught my eye, too. Uh, this is called, what is it? Albert, A Small Tree with a Big Dream, an original holiday movie from Nickelodeon. That one looks kind of interesting, and I wanted to pick this up, um, but I'm going to wait on it, mainly because pretty much all of the slipcovers at this particular Walmart had kind of the crushed corners uh, thing going on. As I kind of show you right here, the corners are kind of crushed. Like a, Most people probably wouldn't be as picky as I am, but I don't know. I just like to have everything as perfect as, as can be, especially when you buy it new in the store. So I'm going to... I don't know, if I see that at another Walmart or something, maybe I'll pick it up. They had a special edition there, too, uh, as you can see. Um, over here, they have some more holiday slipcover sorts of things, which are really ugly, in my opinion. Um, like, they have for the Rugrats Season 1, just like a Santa-themed thing. But, like, you're not going to watch Rugrats around the holidays most of the time. Or, what you know, what you're going to pull this Santa-themed thing off in July when you want to watch the Rugrats, that makes no sense. I think that's pretty gross. Um, but over here, some more random stuff. They did have DuckTales on the top, though, um, which is interesting. And then over here, a lot of the Disney stuff, Disney Blu-rays and DVD. They got this whole theme going with all the Disney Pixar ones where they put just one character on the front. I don't know. A lot of companies are doing that, as you're going to see in this next little segment here. I don't know why that's such a common thing, but it is. And here is this wall of... Uh, kind of cheap older kids titles that all have this same design of one character with a blank background on the front cover and that's it and I, I i think they're doing that just to try to appeal to you know little kids passing by in the shopping carts or something like you know like they're going to be like oh i know that character i want that movie and that's my theory but i don't know they have a cloudy with a chance of meatballs Christmas themed DVD that I've had my eye on, but just, I don't know, that one's also a blind buy, so I've just have been passing on picking that up. Jumanji on 4K, this is a title that I want to get, but Best Buy I know has an exclusive, um, uh, what is it, a uh, steelbook of that, so I wanted to just take a look at that and see if I want that instead. Usually I don't care too much for steelbooks, but that one looked kind of cool, so I want to see that before I buy either version. I know I want e one of them, but I'm just not sure uh, which one I want yet. Um, so this is the new release stuff, stuff that came out, you know, mostly on the uh, 12th of December here, 2017. They have a Teenage Mutant, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Final Chapters DVD over there. Um, and then over here, they have the one that I came to the store to buy, this uh, DuckTales Woo Oo, which I'll have a video showing you the unboxing of that. But as you can see, I'm looking at the sides, um, and then here you'll see me kind of struggling a little bit. You can see all of these, all three of these, they have the uh, inserts like way down to the bottom of the case for some reason. I don't know why that is, so I ended up picking the one in the middle. Um, I have no idea why that was. It's kind of odd, but so I picked that one and put the other one back, and uh, yeah, and that was basically what they had at my Walmart um, for this day uh, on a snowstorm where there was pretty much nobody in the store. So that was lucky. So I thought I'd just make a little video to show you guys what they had, and that's pretty much what they have here. And they also had a holiday uh, little box in the middle that I'll briefly show you, but there were some people who were kind of walking around here, so I didn't really get a good look at this, but just some Christmas DVDs. So anyways, that's about all I have to say for this video. Um, hope you enjoyed this uh, little movie shopping in Walmart, and uh, we'll see you in the next video.